Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be doing a quick install showing you guys how I tint my client's lace. I'm putting the wig on my client's head to show you guys how the lace looked before. You can see if you look closely that the lace isn't matching my client. Continue watching and I'll show you the difference between the tinted lace and the non-tinted lace. My client wanted a band on her wig, so I sewed an elastic band on the two sides of the closure. I cut a piece of lace that I won't be using off the wig, and I'm going to use this to determine what would match my client's skin. I used a small piece of lace and applied some makeup that I thought would fit my client. This is the difference between the non-tinted lace and the tinted lace. I've placed the tinted lace on my client's head to see if it would match her skin color. Doing this with the lace you won't be using helps instead of tinting your lace and not knowing if it's too light or dark for your client. I put that same makeup on the entire lace of my client's wig. Now this is what the wig looks like after it's been tinted. Now I'm going to cut the lace off and style the baby hairs. Watch my other videos for details on how I style baby hairs.
For this part, I'm using mousse to flatten the top of my client's wig and cover all tracks that are being shown. I went ahead off camera, flat ironed the wig, and let the baby hairs dry completely. Now you're going to hot comb the wig and the hairline making sure that everything is flat. I used the tail comb and combed out my client's baby hairs to give it a natural look. This is the finished look, so continue watching to see more clips and remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.